Egypt is more than just pyramids and temples. As we'll see, it's home to beautiful beaches, magnificent sand dunes, unique desert landscapes, pristine coral reefs, and luxurious resort towns. But even more importantly, Egypt is a very mysterious and ancient place, and some pretty outrageous stuff is turning up here. They detected above the Grand Gallery a previously unknown cavity at least 30 meters long. Then and now. And full disclosure, there might be some alien interference along the way. And that's why it's one of the most interesting and oldest civilizations in the world. 15 Strangest Things Recently Discovered in Egypt Number 15. Pregnant Mummy These ancient remains are said to date back to the 1st century BC and were discovered in Thebes back in 1826 but experts had long assumed the specimen was male, thanks to an inscription on the sarcophagus naming an Egyptian priest. Turns out, nope, archaeologists have discovered the first known example of a pregnant mummy. The world's only embalmed pregnant body ever found is believed to have been between 20 and 30 years old and 26 and 30 weeks pregnant. It's been on display at the National Museum in Warsaw since 1917, but had never been as thoroughly examined as it was recently. Researchers were conducting non-invasive laboratory tests such as CT scans and X-rays to help better understand mummies, or in this case, mummies-to-be. And surprise, experts now believe that the man who donated the mummy may have lied about its origins. Plus, the mummification technique is more sophisticated than other examples from the 1st century BC. The mummy was brought to Poland in the 19th century and became part of the antiquities collection at the University of Warsaw. Now, let's get ready for today's open discussion. Can you even imagine being the deep sea diver who captured this insane structure underneath the waters near Egypt? Perhaps in the Mediterranean Sea or the Red Sea, it's unclear where this picture was taken, but it's incredible, right? This image was uploaded on Reddit and everyone online went crazy. We're assuming that it's probably some elaborate underwater laboratory and research facility, perhaps built in total secrecy and above the facility, it looks like tiers of livable underwater cabins for the crew. And you can still see the sunlight from the surface. That's encouraging. We wouldn't mind being a tourist here. How about you? In fact, maybe we're looking at the prototype of the ultimate underwater all-inclusive Egyptian holiday resort of our dreams right now. Maybe someday entire cities will populate the oceans around the world. Could you see a future underwater? Leave a comment with the hashtag open discussion. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14. Mysterious Ben Ben Stone. Ben Ben Stones are also called Pyramidians. It's a stone with a conical shape and, according to some theorists, may be of extraterrestrial origin. The Ben Ben Stone is also an architectural term describing the name given to the tip of the obelisk or the capstone. Some think the Ben Ben Stone is the origin of all ancient Egypt's pyramidal designs, and many Ben Ben Stones, often carved with images and inscriptions, are found in museums around the world. Our understanding of the mythological Ben Ben Stone originates in the Egyptian Book of the Dead, a cheat sheet of spells, rituals, and rites for the dead to use to navigate the afterlife. All in all, such beliefs show how important and real the afterlife was to the ancient Egyptians. In many ways, life after death was more significant than life. The Ben Ben Stone was a sacred stone at the Temple of Ra at Heliopolis. It was the location on which the first rays of the sun fell. It's thought to have been the prototype for later obelisks and the capstones of the Great Pyramids were based on its design. The capstone or the tip of the pyramid were probably gilded so they shone in the sunlight. The stone was believed to be capable of producing mystical power. Number 13. Ibis Mummies The origins of these avian mummies have long been unclear, but now a new genetic survey suggests the vast majority of sacrificial birds came from the wilds of ancient Egypt. Egyptian tombs contain millions of mummified ibises or hook-billed shorebills sacrificed in honor of an ibis-headed god. To better pinpoint the ibis's origins, researchers sequenced DNA from 40 mummified birds found in six roughly 2,500-year-old catacombs. The team also analyzed genetic samples from 26 modern sacred ibises collected across Africa. 
Archaeologists had previously suspected the African sacred ibis was domestically bred in order to produce the incredible number of mummies found across Egypt. But while researchers have found facilities where the ancient bred cats, dogs, and even crocodiles for the sole purpose of mummification, there's no archaeological evidence of similarly large-scale ibis hatcheries. The ibis mummies, crammed ceremoniously into conical jars, folded beak over body, would mostly have been made in honor of Thoth, the Egyptian god of wisdom, writing, and magic. That array of symbolism made ibis mummies among the most popular offerings, hence the millions of dead birds strewn across Egypt. Number 12. Great Pyramid Void Welcome to the future of archaeology. A new ultra-powerful scan of the Great Pyramid of Giza using cosmic rays could reveal the identities of two mysterious voids inside. It's about 98 feet long and 20 feet in height, according to previous pyramid scans. The largest of the two voids is located just above the Grand Gallery, a passageway that leads to what may be the Chamber of the Pharaoh. The previous scans also revealed a second, much smaller void just beyond the north face of the pyramid. Its purpose is also unclear. In order to appear inside the void, researchers plan to scan the area with supercharged cosmic ray muons, which are 100 times more powerful than the ones used previously. Utilizing them will allow researchers to see it from all angles and will, for the first time, produce a true tomographic image of such a large structure inside the pyramid. Pretty cool, huh? In fact, the detectors are so sensitive that they may be able to pick up pottery and other artifacts housed within this pyramid scheme. Archaeologists are uncertain as to why they would fill the void. They'll also hope to find out the function of that void. The most fantastic possibility is that the opening is the hidden burial chamber of Khufu. A more mundane possibility is that the cavity played some role in the building of the pyramid. Number 11. Temple of Hather Hather was the goddess of love, joy, and beauty. The Temple of Dendera is one of the best preserved temples in Egypt. It was known as the Castle of the Sistrum, or the House of Hather. In ancient times, Dendera was associated with healing. Patients who traveled there for cures were housed in special buildings where they could rest, sleep, and commune with the gods in their dreams. There's something else special about this temple as well. It bears the name of Cleopatra and her son, whose father was Julius Caesar. It's possible that these celebrated rulers climbed the same stairs and contemplated the same landscape stretching out for miles below. With the exception of its supporting pillars, which had capitals sculpted in the image of Hather and were defaced over time, the walls, rooms, and roof are complete and extraordinarily well-preserved. The stone steps of the spiral staircase are time-worn but may still be used to ascend to the roof. There is a small chapel decorated with Hather-headed columns. The temple complex displays influences from Egyptian, Greek, and Roman rulers. Today, the place sings with the music of birds. Hundreds of them roost in small cracks and hollows in the walls. Number 10. The Alien Dagger Egyptologists discovered that artisans from this period crafted these metal artifacts with materials from outer space, carried to Earth by meteorites. Cool, right? Daggers like this are incredible ancient specimens plus axes and various jewelry made from rare metal during ancient Egypt's prime are literally out of this world. The ancient Egyptians were fascinated by the stars and knew a great deal about them, and experts believe that an iron-rich meteor may have crashed to Earth. They tested these objects and it was determined that they were made with iron containing a high percentage of nickel and traces of cobalt. Experts knew right away that this was a characteristic found in many of the meteorites that have rained down on Earth for billions of years, and still do. Meteors could be the only source of this unusually pure metal. Then again, other people believe ancient Egyptians made contact with aliens. Several theories make references to alien technology, while another says the daggers and the other objects came from the supposed offspring of the sons of God, referred to in many ancient holy texts. There also has been speculation that ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs show this to be possible. Number 9. Ancient Mystic Monastery One of the oldest monasteries in the world still in operation, the Monastery of St. Catherine is home to almost 2,000 years of history. Plus, it has many more years of legend, tradition claims. For example, that the main altar of the monastery is built on the spot where the burning bush first addressed Moses. But the monastery also holds other places of honor, 
For example, it accommodates the oldest continuously operating active library in the world. From the day it was founded in the 6th century, the library has never closed its doors. Its walls are still home to ancient Roman scrolls dating back to the days when the monastery itself was founded, which makes St. Catherine's the second largest collection of manuscripts in the world, right after the Vatican Library in Rome. Within the gates of the monastery, the unknown only grows. Disputed claims place the burning bush that appeared to Moses near the present-day monastery. To this day, a bush inside the compound is considered by some to be the original from biblical texts. Besides the chapel, the monastic compound also holds an ancient charnel for monks. Differing from many ossuaries and charnels, St. Catherine's was based more on functionality than decoration and is now a protected heritage site. Number 8. Scan of God Two ancient Egyptian sarcophagi were believed to contain human remains. However, CT scanning revealed a surprise inside. The mummies were not, in fact, human. One of them was a bird, representing the god Horus, and the other childlike mummy was packed with mud and grains in the shape of the god Osiris. For many decades, both of these official records suggested that they contained mummified people. But when a team of archaeologists CT scanned the 3,000-year-old bird and childlike mummies at a hospital in Israel, the remains of the childlike mummy were found to be a votif offering to Osiris, the Egyptian god of death and lord of the underworld, in the form of a mud and grain packed dummy. In ancient Egypt, when there was a tomb created for a human being, they would place certain artifacts and even certain animals in with these mummified remains and birds in ancient Egypt had a very important role because they were thought to be protectors, so they would often place them in the tombs with the pharaohs. The larger of the two mummies were actually a handcrafted plant matter doll known as the grain mummy or corn mummy. Number 7. Broken Pottery Hill In 1917, a British surveyor made an unusual discovery. He discovered two isolated sandstone cones jutting out of the desert sand. Both hills were covered with thousands of pottery, many broken but some still intact. Abu Balas, the Pottery Hill, is an archaeological site in the Libyan desert of Egypt. Both hills are covered with Egyptian pottery. The pots were evidently made to hold water, but there are no water sources nearby, which meant that they were transported there from an oasis nearby, possibly to create a water depot in the middle of the desert. Experts believe that Abu Balas was just one in a long line of water depots stretching over 200 miles down the eastern edge of the Gilf Kiber, but where that trail led to is still a mystery. Some researchers maintain that the trail was an ancient Egyptian trade route into Central Africa. Sometime after it was established, authorities decided to arrange supply depots along the track. This was one of the largest. When it was discovered, there were thousands of pots stacked in neat layers around the base of the hill. Now, only a few hundred remain. Much have been carried off by memento-seeking tourists. Many were destroyed and jagged shards of pottery now litter the sand around the hills. Number 6. Creepy Dolls In the past, the Egyptians had a nasty habit of killing and burying servants with their masters so they could serve them in the afterlife. Thankfully, this tradition was abandoned eventually. These mummified statues are found in ancient Egyptian tombs. They represented the dead and their servants, and the creepy dolls they have recovered are 3,000 years old, and some were found in a tomb in Upper Egypt, 300 miles south of Cairo. The figures, shaped as adult male or female mummies, appear in tombs early on, were made of stone or wood, and represented an anonymous worker. Back then, Egyptian citizens were obligated to devote part of their time each year to labor for the state of the many public works projects that the pharaoh had decreed according to their particular skills. So these public servants would be commemorated in the form of these Shapti dolls. Their name is derived from the Egyptian for the answers. When the pharaohs called for help, the workers answered. Each doll was inscribed with a spell that specified the function of that particular figure and then they became funerary figures who accompanied the deceased to the afterlife. Number 5. Undiscovered Tombs Archaeologists working at this sprawling ancient necropolis just outside Cairo have unearthed five ancient tombs that are over 4,000 years old. Some of the tombs date back to Egypt's Old Kingdom, 2700 BC to 2200 BC, while others come from the century that followed, which is known as the First Intermediate Period. Each tomb holds the corpses of regional rulers, priests, and senior palace officials. 
Accessing them requires a deep descent through burial shafts, the walls of which are lined with well-preserved hieroglyphs depicting sacred animals, urns, and symbols of the afterlife. And recently, experts uncovered more than 50 burial shafts at the site, including one that belonged to Queen Nirit, wife of the first pharaoh of the 6th dynasty. Also discovered in the tombs were wooden figurines, pottery, and wooden and limestone coffins. This region has yielded numerous discoveries in recent years as Egypt continues to pour money into digs as part of a broader effort to boost the tourism industry. The sector, which had only just started to recover, has been hit hard by the conflicts in Europe and Russia, as visitors from those two places constitute as much as one-third of total visitors to Egypt. Number 4. Book of the Dead It isn't a finite text, it's not like the Bible, it's not a collection of doctrine or a statement of faith or anything like that, it's a practical guide to the next world, with spells that would help you on your journey. The Book of the Dead is a modern term for a collection of magical spells that the Egyptians used to help them to get into the afterlife. They imagined the afterlife as a kind of journey you had to make to get to paradise, but it was quite a hazardous journey, so you need magical help along the way. The book is usually a roll of papyrus with lots and lots of spells written in hieroglyphic script. They usually have beautiful colored illustrations as well. They would have been quite expensive so only wealthy, high-status people would have had them. Some people seem to have commissioned their own copies, perhaps choosing the spells that they thought most vital in their own progression to the afterlife, and it was placed in the coffin or burial chamber of the deceased. The finest extent example of the Egyptian Book of the Dead in antiquity is the Papyrus of Ani. Ani was an Egyptian scribe. It was discovered in 1888 and was taken to the British Museum where it currently resides. It contains a varying selection of religious and magical texts and varied considerably in the illustration. Number 3. The Black Boxes the skillfulness and dexterity in these mysterious black boxes are so well constructed that some experts think that they were not built by the ancient Egyptians, but left behind by aliens and claimed by the pharaohs. Weighing over 100 tons and made of gold, 24 strange and coffin-shaped black boxes were found buried in a hillside case system 12 miles south of the Great Pyramid of Giza. The mighty pharaoh of the Egyptians dominated the world for over three millenniums, when their reign came to an end, they left a huge wealth of architecture, artifacts, and cultural mythology. While the existence of the boxes still remain unknown, they were clearly of high significance, as they were cut with such incredible precision. Plus, they remained hermetically secured for several millennia. In Egyptian tradition, a serapium is known as a religious building and dedication to the gods. Could these so-called gods be the extraterrestrials who built these boxes? Perhaps these tombs are their connection to aliens, some would question. And what were the aliens, who are believed to have built them, thinking of using them for? We might never know. Number 2. The Unfinished Obelisk The Unfinished Obelisk is the largest known ancient obelisk and is located in the northern region of the stone quarries of ancient Egypt and Aswan, Egypt. The Unfinished Obelisk is nearly one-third larger than any ancient Egyptian obelisk ever erected. If finished, it would have measured around 137 feet and would have weighed nearly 1,200 tons, a weight equal to about 200 African elephants. Just what are obelisks? These four-sided tapered monuments, typically placed at the entrances of temples, are hallmarks of ancient Egyptian ingenuity and engineering. The obelisk's creators began to carve it directly out of bedrock, but cracks appeared in the granite and the project was abandoned. The bottom side of it is still attached to the bedrock. Also discovered were some rock carvings and remains that may correspond to the site where most of the famous obelisks were working. All these quarries in Aswan and the unfinished objects are an open-air museum and are officially protected by the Egyptian government as an archaeological site. Lying as a sleeping giant in a bed of granite, the unfinished obelisk is an incredible look at the building methods of these monolithic monuments. Number 1. Rosetta Stone in 1799, a French soldier discovered a black basalt slab inscribed with ancient writing near the town of Rosetta, about 35 miles east of Alexandria, Egypt. The story goes like this. When the French emperor, Napoleon, known for his enlightened view of education, art, and culture, invaded Egypt in 1798, he took along a group of scholars and told them to seize all important cultural artifacts they could. One of his soldiers found this basalt stone 
almost four feet long and two and a half feet wide. Upon Napoleon's defeat, the stone became the property of the British along with other antiquities that the French had found. The Rosetta Stone now resides in the British Museum in London, England for people around the world to enjoy. The irregularly shaped stone contained fragments of passages written in three different scripts. Of the three different languages in the stone, the first was hieroglyphic, which was the script used for important or religious documents. The second was the common script of Egypt. The third was Greek, which was the language of the rulers of Egypt at the time. And according to the inscription on the stone, an identical copy of the declaration was to be placed in every sizable temple across Egypt. It doesn't get any stranger than that. All this insight into the lives of folks from ancient Egypt, or the experts' opinion that even aliens interacted with this advanced culture. Maybe the more archaeologists discover, the closer we'll be to some answers.